I, uh, I have to tell you the tale of the, the monitor lizard in our house. So the monitor lizard has been living in our roof, or had been living in our roof for about two months. We could not get this thing down. And our roof is so high in our house in Hoodsprayed that there was no way we could do it safely. It's a high, high, high thatched, open thatched roof. And we would have had to get a massive step ladder and then even then trying to get an over meter long monitor lizard out of the roof. When you grab them, they thrash, they bite, they use their tails as whips. So we were quite terrified, not terrified, terrified is a slight exaggeration. We were quite worried about what we were going to do about our guests that kept depositing piles of excrement on our dinner table. Anyway, it fell out, unbeknownst to us, or climbed out, we're not quite sure, and it wound up in Brent's fishing cupboard. And Brent nearly had a, had a heart failure whilst taking out his fishing equipment to pack for Kenya. He leapt several feet in the air and onto the couch. It was amazing. Brent has a real gift at crossing a room in the blink of an eye. He did that once when a, a snake was climbing into bed with me and I was awoken to yells from the opposite side of the room. Well, thanks. Thanks for the gentle awakening and the warning. I've much appreciated. Anyway, we got the monitor out. Eventually it moved under our TV and we still couldn't get out and it's now hissing at us. <sighs> and Brent's friend was there as well. I've got it on video, but uh, I'm afraid it's not one that I can share due to the the nature of the language that was coming out of the several parties. But anyway, they got it, shepherded it into, the, into our guest bathroom and got it out the window. Brent eventually swept it up and out of the window. But the funniest part was his friend, who then stepped back at a little bit of fishing line, touched his leg, and obviously with the memory of this monitor lizard fresh in his mind, screamed like a girl. I don't even know that I'd be capable of emitting a scream like that and leapt about 50 feet backwards to across to the other side of the kitchen, all based on a piece of fishing gut. So it was a real, a really macho example of how to <laughs> get rid of a monitor lizard. Anyway, that's my monitor lizard stories.